All right, so today, guys, my name is John Reed. Uh, today, we're going to be making an apple cinnamon cake with my boy. Yeah! <laughs> Change the rookie. <laughs> Such a great introduction. Such a great introduction, guys. Yeah. All right. So first things first, uh, Shay, like, have you ever baked before? Damn, mom, I'm sorry. No. Nope. <laughs> All right. So uh, basically, everybody that I've known, like, and I've had my desserts, have always asked me, "How do you do these things?" And this is why we're doing it today. And who better else than Shay? So. Well, let me tell you one thing. Y'all don't think I'm weird. I don't do sweets, but I heard your shit was popping. I heard it was dope. So. I mean, he's right. Oh, we about to see you. All we right. about to see if you can convert a brother. Uh, he's going to be converted after today, for sure. Before we get started peeling the apples, uh, we definitely want to just let you know the ingredients that you're about to involve. you got to have your apples. Uh, for this recipe, you usually have like three or four. Um, we've doubled it from the recipe that's online where we found it. So definitely want to make sure you have enough apples for your cake. Regular flour, all-purpose flour, baking powder, sugar. Yes, that good sugary white crack. You got your eggs. I got four eggs in there. Again, you're doubling this recipe. Brown sugar cinnamon mixture, vanilla, butter, milk, and then also good old fashioned KitchenAid mixer. All right, so first things first, after the ingredients, you got all prepared, you gotta have your apples. Can't have an apple cinnamon cake without your apples. And Shank, have you ever like cut apples before? Uh, no, not, not with these Kill Bill. <laughs> Just regular knives that you can, I got these from Ikea, super cheap. Y'all see he put me with the smile. <laughs> we also need to peel the apples. First things first, uh, you can have the, the big professional one. Yeah. Or you can have the old school boy that's kind of bent up and beat up. Get, give me the old school one, I just I just don't want to <laughs> that, That's all. <laughs> how long How long you been baking anyway? Uh, I've been baking since I was eight. So my dad taught me everything I know, so. Shout out to Right? <laughs> he, he went to school for baking and like pastries and or cooking and overall, got his associates. And at this point, he just taught me everything I know in regards to what he's doing for his profession now. And he definitely is not a baker. That's what's up. That, that, that's what's up, my brother. But I got a question. How the f you peel this? <laughs> this looks so easy, man. I mean, it, it, it comes to you easy like this? It, it does. I've, I've been doing it a while. So, all right, first off, you about to cut yourself. <laughs> this is why I don't need knives in my f***ing hand. Uh, basically, you want to oh, hold it in your hand yeah. and kind of take it. You see the little edges in between? Ah, uh, so like okay. That. You just take that and you just pull it towards you. So I'm you sure. try to make sure you leave your thumb, the meat, meaty part of your thumb, oh, yeah. where you don't cut yourself, because the inside part is the sharp part. Okay. Don't there we it. go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, y'all see that? I'm peeling, y'all. As we were peeling the apples, uh, Shane decided to take a little bite out of one. I didn't take a bite. <laughs> I ate the skin. Get it right, okay? You just ate the skin. It's okay. Well, one thing that you really want to do when you're working with apples in general, uh, whether you're doing apple pie, apple anything, uh, you just want to make sure once you cut them that you put them in lemon water. Yes, you have to strain them and drain the lemon water from them so that your end product is not super tart. I use bottled water because I don't really like the tap water that we have. Basically, you don't just need like maybe like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of the lemon juice, put it in the water. So get that nice little tingly flavor, is that what you're saying? Correct. That nice little tingle, you know, that tingle tingle. <laughs> You want to make sure you cut the apples. Um, so I'm going to show him how to cut an apple. I, the easiest way to cut an apple, just like that. So you cut them into fours. You want to avoid the core. Yeah. You're using a smaller knife, so you're yeah. not going to have the same amount of pressure behind it as yeah. mine. I'm going to just saw this. Just saw it, y'all. Did you want to kind of follow me before you started doing that? Or? Look, man, the most greatest cooks oh. learn from, I, I think, you know, just trying. That's what I be doing. Yeah. That's how the ramen noodle in college became fancy. I don't, I don't eat those. Oh. But, <laughs> anyways, uh, <laughs> yes, I am bougie. Yes, I, I am. <laughs> Cut them into thirds, and then the six. So as small as you can get it. The easiest way to do that without cutting yourself. Yeah. Is for one, use a bigger knife. So he got me using a small <laughs> knife. Again. He cut my <laughs> damn self. I'm over here trying to help. And, all right. Quite frankly, you are you hurting yourself in this process. <laughs> just want to get them cut into six. Like they don't have to be super small. As you can see, these are starting to get a little brown. It's only because they have been out for a little while and they've been peeled. 
So you just want to make sure that you throw them in the water as soon as possible so that the brownness doesn't happen and it messes up your, your end product. Now that we got the apples cut in the water, soaking a little bit, again, we're going to strain those here in a few minutes. Basically, you want to prepare everything else. You, we have your butter. Uh, for this recipe, it takes a, a cup of butter. I get the little cubes, so it's easier for me to use to break down into smaller ingredients it, when I do other things. Four fours is a cup. So, wait, what type of butter is that? This is unsalted butter uh, from Lando Lakes, uh, Land Lake, excuse me. Oh, you rich, rich. So, as I said before, oh, the product is only oh, as good as the ingredients. <laughs> uh, have you unpeeled a butter? Give me a and now I'm just gonna put it like, oh, um, look at that, look at that, y'all. Call me about my butter. So from here, you just mix it uh, after you get your cup of butter in there. I leave it on stir just because you don't really want it to get throw it off out the bowl, which it will do. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be like flying out like in them cartoons. Yes, so, oh, it, it does. That looks good, huh? Yes, that is yeah. like legit. So I'm gonna do the sugar next because uh, sugar can go in with all the rest of the wet ingredients and not mess up anything. Pretty much just so eggs, just slide them in. Yeah, just slide them in. Yeah, just slide them in. Right now, uh, you can see the sugar and butter already starting to clump up, and it's not mixing in with the eggs. Turn it off, grab the spatula, and pretty much just scrape the sides. Like I said, uh, oh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's why there's an off button. We almost died. So it's now you can start seeing this mixing in a little bit better. Yeah. So I'm putting all the wet ingredients in here just because you want to have all your wet ingredients mixed in first and yeah. then you add the flour. So this also can splatter at this point because you're basically mixing all liquid. As you see my counterpart literally <laughs> run out the pictures. And then you just want to do your two teaspoons of vanilla. So I'm doing this just because I feel like Shank going to get scared and I don't want him throwing my really expensive make it as easy as possible for this man you know put your flour and your baking powder in there yep just dump it boil it like I'm, I'm an American gangster right no, now no seriously just dump it in there I was just dump it yeah I just, dump it. Uh, I just want to play with it you know and your baking powder baking powder I got baking powder mix this up the final, okay, you can see <laughs> The final product, it really turned out kind of like an angel, uh, angel food cake. The white cake in that is like really fluffy. So, like fluffy like a, like a, like a burger? Like so fluffy like a donut. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Sure. Look at that. <laughs> so you go pour your flour and baking, baking powder mixture into the bowl. Baking soda, I got baking so, soda. So, uh, before you do that, turn it up. Turn it on? Yeah. Ah. For the first setting. That's yeah. Okay. You got pour it in there. Pour it in there. Yes. You can use the whisk. There you go. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's coming up. It's okay. Good job. I'm just coming, sir. Look at that. In the game, baby. So you just want to make sure you get all the flour from the sides. Okay. Mix it into the cake and then making sure you scrape it because if you don't, it's going to stick and then you're not going to get all of the ingredients. Would you like to do the honors and try the oh, apples? Oh, hell yeah. So just literally pour the app, all the apples in there. Let me show y'all see this. You don't have to worry about it oh, flying yeah. everywhere. Just, there you go. So we're straightening the apples because we're pretty much done with everything else. Last thing, pretty much before you throw it in the oven, 350 degree oven. Spray it. I like this spray because uh, I, I can only find it in Indiana, but the spray is actually fire uh, versus like Pam. I like Pam. You can use Pam. Oh. I'm just spraying the heck out of this because uh, the last time I made this cake, he got stuck. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was a user error or not, but uh, I don't you know. I know that. You got to spray intensely. <laughs> Pretty much, you got your cake layer. And we already have a layer of the brown sugar and cinnamon. As you can see. Now you're just starting to do the layers of the cake. So you can mix everything in all together. I personally don't like it that way just because it doesn't give you the same like feel to it. The first time I made this, I made it with just one layer of brown sugar and cinnamon. Literally the middle of the cake had brown sugar like mixed in. It was mm. delicious. 
But it was like, by the time you got to the bottom of the piece of cake, it didn't have nothing left. Yeah. This is why we doing it this way. I, I, I was about to say so. This how you do your macaroni and cheese, man. You got to. Just, I, I, you, know you, got, you gotta layer it up. Yeah, 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 I mean, you got to. If you don't bake your macaroni and cheese, <laughs> though, I will judge you. I usually use a bigger spatula because it's a lot easier. Yeah. But basically just doing a layer of the cake at this point. Wait, so this is just like a, a, a layer that you put more apples on top of it? Correct. Ah, okay. Layer one, and you just repeat this process two or three times or at least until your pan is completely full. So, you can touch the apples. I can touch the apples? Cool, we're going to eat They're trying to eat them the whole time anyway. This is very facts, very much facts. So, after I knocked it out, because this man definitely wasn't not going to be knocking it out. I was helping. Uh, but anyway, it looks delicious. It looks great. And it smells great too. So, we're going to throw it in the oven and pretty much let it cook for an hour because it is a homemade cake. Most likely this will overcook a little bit, um, but I'm gonna put something underneath it to make it so I don't have to clean them up. All right, so now that the cake is in the oven, it's gonna take a good hour for that to finish. We got some more butter and we're gonna make the icing. So butter, powder sugar, a little bit of milk and vanilla again goes in everything and cinnamon. What it is is gonna be a buttercream uh, cinnamon icing. Pretty much I'm gonna have Shank make it. So it's the first time I actually had somebody actually make something for me and it's kind of weird doing it, but I'll be here to coach. So. Oh, <laughs> a little in the pan, in the butter. Mm. Okay. It, you just throw it up. Okay. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Mix it up. Oh, uh, hit the start. Me. Yeah, uh, you miss a whole step. Lift the thing. No, there's a little, yeah. See, right, uh, right here? Yeah. Oh, Lever. So, what I gotta that do? Hit the lever? Right? Oh, that's. Oh, I can't lock it though. Oh, so, 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 so do it lock? Yep. Oh, it locks. There it goes. You want to pour that in there? Pour this in? How much? Just the whole thing? Oh, more than a couple. I feel like this is a lot. This is a lot. It's like, a lot. It's more like a cup, cup and a half. Honestly, I don't usually measure when it comes to the icing. Like all black people, we don't measure. Because <laughs> it, you kind of go based off of the texture. I got my milk, I take a half a cup of milk and just throw it in there. I do tea, two, two, uh, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons? Uh, yeah, two teaspoons. Two that, teaspoons that's what we do, we make up new measurements, man. So it'd be like one, two. And sometimes you do have to add more powdered sugar because it looks, it's too soupy right now. So sometimes y'all just don't be coming out good. We just go add most. Let me want waffles. Because you don't want it to get lumpy. Like I hate lumpy icing. You can use a sifter that'll make it easier. You know what, bro? Your, your first cake was my very first time trying to cake. Like what? Yep. I eat cheesecake, but not like the regular like the cake. When I was a kid, I did not have cake. Everybody else on kids would have like cake and ice cream. I had sherbet. <laughs> wow. Apparently we have a heart to heart. Oh no, my. And do a two tablespoons. Damn, I keep saying that. Two teaspoons of oh, no, two tablespoons. That's what it is. At this point, it's pretty much done. Do you, so now do you be licking the icing? You can lick the icing if you would like after you're done oh, mixing yeah, it all yeah, the way. Uh, you can literally have it as runny as you want to where you can just basically pour it on. Or at okay. this point, I might even heat this up uh, in the uh, microwave okay. and then just pour it on there because it's going on to a bun cake. Right. Now, if this was a actual cake that's gonna have several layers and you wanna make sure the layers are even and you'll have some icing in the middle, yeah. it, you need to be more proportionate. But this, you just pour it on and it's good. Final product, as you can see, you better get your fingers <laughs> All right, so we just got it out the oven. I actually let it in there for a little bit more than an hour. So it was about an hour, 15 to 20 minutes. Because again, it is a, a scratch cake. So you don't want it to actually get stuck in the pan. If you undercook this cake, it will get stuck in the pan or it will not form at all. Pretty much, I'll let it sit for a good 30 minutes. Any type of cake, you kind of want to just pop it, pop it out. But you just want to make sure you feel the cake like coming out of the pan. This is a standard plate. So, bam. And as you can see, 
it is done. Uh, as you can see, some of the apples did get stuck. No need to worry. You get you a little spoon. You can pretty much just throw it on there. All right, so I took our icing, heated it up in a microwave a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, pour it on here. And eventually, like once it, it settles up, it will go on and then it'll harden up. I'm gonna add a little bit more icing on there and then you can even take some out the middle, put it on there as well. Or even take some of the, the non-melted icing and place that on the sides. All right, so final product. The look is still, the cake is still hot, so it looks a little melted on top of the melted icing, but this is about to be bomb. Bam, you got your final results. Change your life. Here goes that's a big piece right there. Man. Fresh out the oven. Here goes nothing, Lord have mercy. Damn, look at that drip. That's the, that's it. <laughs> that's it, that's it right there. Damn it! Ooh, this is some good ass shit. I came in dog. Yeah, I just made me a mother apple bun cake. Oh, um. Right. And there you have it. Apple cinnamon cake. Mouth. Yeah, he actually walked out the door. <laughs>